Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I am your host, Dane Henning. Last week, the federal government urged governors to begin testing all residents and staff members for COVID-19. But just one round of testing every nursing home resident and staff member would cost about $440 million nationwide, according to data released on Wednesday by the American Healthcare Association National Center for Assisted Living, ACA NCAL. The hefty bill, which doesn't include costs for assisted living or other long-term care facilities, ACA NCAL says it showcases why efforts to conduct ongoing and universal COVID-19 testing would be, quote, unsustainable for providers without additional funding from federal and state governments. California, New York, Texas, Florida, and Ohio are among the states where one-time universal testing would be most expensive, according to the data. The effort would cost about $36.3 million in California, $33.9 in New York, $29 million in Texas, $25.3 million in Florida, and $24.9 million in Ohio. California would need more than 242,000 total tests for one round of testing. New York would need more than 226,000, while Texas would need about 193,000 tests. Among the less costly states, universal testing in Wyoming and Vermont would cost less than $1 million per state per round. Wyoming, for example, would need about 4,300 total tests at a time. Data also revealed that the CDC's recommendation to test nursing home staff members weekly would cost more than $1 billion per month. In other news, a majority of nursing homes across the United States have successfully enrolled in the National Healthcare Safety Network to report their COVID-19 data to the CDC. Providers will receive warning letters for not complying through May, but fines will start if they haven't complied by June 7th. Providers face at least $1,000 per week fines for not reporting infections within 12 hours of learning about them. CDC and CMS officials added that CDC guidance for infection prevention in nursing homes was updated on Tuesday. They stressed the need for facilities to have one individual with infection control training to be the on-site manager of its COVID prevention and response activities on full-time basis. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.